If you're new to my channel, my name's Tiana. Make sure to go down below and subscribe. And I'm happy that you're here because today we are going to be talking about the Mary Kay Spring Launch. Mary Kay has been something that I've been trying out lately. So I was really excited when I got their spring launch because now I can test out these products and let you know what I think of them. And I was actually very surprised on everything that I got. I have tried a lot of these items that I was sent, so I'm able to give you guys a review today and tell you guys what I've been enjoying, what I've been wearing, how the consistency is and everything like that. This video is just going to be a review. We have quite a bit of products to get through today and I have a lot to say about them. So I thought I would just sit down, chat with you guys, and then in the other videos you can see how I actually apply the products. And yeah, so let's just get right into this video. So I briefly want to talk about a mascara that I've been using from Mary Kay. This is the Ultimate Mascara and I love this mascara. It's not part of their spring launch, however, I really wanted to mention it just because I am sitting down and doing a makeup review, I thought this would fit in. I find that it's hard to get a good mascara. It doesn't irritate my eyes, which I like. So if you've been looking to get a mascara from Mary Kay, or if you were looking to get a more higher end mascara, this one is very, very nice. So now let's get into their spring launch. This is the perfect palette. This is perfect for spring. The colors on here are so nice has like a flowery print and it's so cute, I like it. It's got a really nice size mirror in here. So even if you wanted to just use it for the mirror, it's a really nice size mirror. And whatever you wanna put in here, you can. You can go on their website and see what would suit you. You could put like a highlighter and a blush if you wanted to. I like these palettes and I like traveling with palettes. So this is something that I like for the spring. So. That's the first thing. Number two is their At Play Sticks. There's five of them. So I haven't used all of them just because they're not all for me. However, we are going to be talking about them today. So this one is the Get Sculpted one, which I've been using and I really like it for contouring. I find that this is easy to blend out. It gives you a really, really nice look. I find you can use a sponge to blend it out. I normally start with a sponge and then I go in with a brush. I love the creaminess, I love the color of it. So this is the Get Sculpted one. I am very fair, so it does go pretty nicely on my skin. The next one is the Get Sculpted 2. This one I haven't used, but it is like the same consistency. It's just darker. This is too dark for my skin tone. I feel like it would just be too much. And I like a more subtle effect, so the Get Sculpted one is perfect for me. But if you are a darker skin tone than me or you like a darker contour, the Get Sculpted 2 may be best for you. Next, I want to talk about the Ditch the Dullness Stick. Again, I like the size. It's creamy, just like the Get Sculpted ones. And I don't have dull skin, but a lot of people are into color correcting. So I feel like if you have dull skin and if you're into like color correcting, this is a purple crayon, let's call it. Very creamy, just like the contouring one. So I think you would really enjoy this. The next one is the Wipeout Redness. I do not have redness, but my boyfriend's mom does and she really wants to try this. So I feel like I'm going to pass this along to her so she can use. But again, the color is there. It's very pigmented. The next one is a Rose Gold Glow and I love this color so much. It's like a highlighting stick which I love, like the color is just stunning. It is so, so nice and so pretty. And what I like about this is it's an actual like pinky color too. So when you really start to blend it out, like it gets shimmery. I like this, if you're into like a pink highlighty or a pink glow, this is gonna be really, really nice for you. Another place that I thought you could put it is like maybe like in the inner corners and near your lids, wherever you feel like you would want to have this pinky glow, you would like it. So now I wanna get into something that I've just been loving since I got, and I've been, I tried all three of these out. These are the matte lipsticks. This is in the shade Perfecto Nude. I love these colors so much. If you like nudes, you will really like these, and you will probably love the smell of these. These have like a cocoa-y smell, and it reminds me of something like Tarte has, and I love the smell. They're so creamy, so hydrating, they're so nice looking on the skin, and I love them. 
reapplying them for me is not a big issue. I don't have a lip liner, so I'm not sure if having a lip liner will make them last a little longer. But if you're like me and applying them after a little bit doesn't bother you, you would really, really love these. I love them so much, even the packaging of them. I was really surprised when I got them and I was surprised at the colors and how pigmented the colors are and how they look on the lips. They're the perfect nude. So anyway, that was the first one. The second one is in the shade Bellissimo Nude. So they're really nailing it in the spring with the nudes because I feel like it's that perfect time of year for it. And lastly, this is the uh, Bacchio Nude. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I may be saying it wrong, has a more orangey undertone to it, but some days I do like to have a more toned down color and this is pretty light so I can wear it on non-makeup days, which I like too. So if you're looking for something that you could wear on like non-makeup days just to give your lips that nice shade or something really natural, all three of these are really nice colors and there's no like shimmer in them, they're matte, which I like. It's not glossy. They don't feel tacky. They're not gross tasting. These really impressed me. And I've tried lipsticks in the past where they're very heavy on the lips. They're very, very greasy, oily. These are not. These are very, very comfortable. So I really, really like these and I've been wearing them in my past videos for many of my past videos actually. Next up are the lip tints and I have not tried the lip tints. However, I have swatched them. I played around with them on my hands, on my arms to see how long they would last for like being in water. Just from being like on my arms and hands, these last a long time. I haven't tried these because I really wanted to try the lipsticks. So lip tint number one is going to be Flora. Now this is a really, really pretty color. I love how it's almost like a marker and you're able to like draw it on. The color is nice. The smell is pretty good, like it's not bad. I like it, I feel like if you're into lip tints you would like this. Personally for me, I really really like the lipsticks because I don't mind to reapply, but I have not played with lip tints at all, so I feel like I would need to give these like a really big shot. So again, this one's in the shade Desert Flora. Very pretty color. I don't know if it's for me just because it is like brighter purple. Next one is in Coral. This one I really like and I really, really want to play with it and test it out more. I feel like I'd be more comfortable with this color as opposed to the floral one. This one's a really nice corally color. I feel like I can match this pretty well with like a natural eye look. I feel like I can just match this a little bit more easier than the purple one. Next one is in magenta. This one is more of like a reddy kind of color. It almost looks purple on like the outside packaging, but when you apply it to the skin, it is more of like a red type of color. So I feel like this one as well as coral would be the ones that I would gravitate towards, probably closer to the spring when, you know, I'm wearing brighter colors, when the weather's not as snowy and cold. So I have not tried these out, but like I said, I have swatched them on my hands. I've seen how long they last and everything. So I am pretty impressed with these. And if you've wanted to try lip tints out. These are really, really nice colors. So we're getting into the last three things. These are illuminating drops and I love these drops so, so much. Ever since I got them, literally the day I got them, I put them on because I like them. There's something about the glowiness and just shine that they bring. They're not too sparkly. I find some highlighters are too sparkly so I don't gravitate towards those and I feel like sometimes highlight is too much and sometimes some foundations make my skin look too dull. So illuminating drops. This is in the shade Silver Sands. I love this. It's like a pinky one. I'm gonna say like the dropper, it doesn't pick up overly too much but I actually like the amount that it picks up because it, you don't need to use a lot of this to get the results that you want. You can build this up if you want. You can use it as like a highlighter. You can use it in your foundation. You can use it in like your BB cream. Whatever you wanna use this in, you can. You can mix it in with and it's such a pretty color and it's not like glittery. I wear these so, so often and I like having that 
that pop of brightness, that illuminating look. So this is just perfect. Silver Sands is my favorite shade. Next one is Bronze Light. And this one is too dark for me. I am fairly light and I feel like this one is just a little too dark. So I haven't tested it. But again, the colors on this is just so, so nice. Golden Horizon is another one that I really enjoy wearing. I will reach for these before highlighters just because I really, really like them. So here's my hand after that whole thing. Mary Kay's skincare for me was really, really good. It's still really good. My face likes it. And my face actually does like the makeup. I have combination skin as well as sensitive skin. So some makeup does not do well on my skin, but everything that I've tried is working and works well and reacts well with my skin. So I feel like if you were looking for certain items to add to your collections, I do find that these work very, very well. I use them day to day, which I like because there's nothing worse than getting makeup that you spend money on and you don't use day to day. And you can also use these for special occasions and build them up and mix them in with things. And it's just, they're fun. That's what I like. They're fun, they're versatile, they're things that I enjoy using. In February, in my favorites video, you will see specific items from this launch that I have been using more than others. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And make sure to go follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see some more pictures slash mini videos, anything like that. And I will see you guys in the next video.